tonight we're playing dominoes and we just finished our first round and I was looking at the side of the box and I noticed that in a set of dominoes there's 91 different dominoes. Now I don't even know if we have our whole complete set or if we've lost one. But I started thinking if there's no two dominoes alike and there's every possible number from 0 to 12 and they're in pairs like you see what are all the different possible combinations and why does it make 91? I wonder if there's like an organized chart or table that you could make that show all the different possible combinations. Why don't you try, um, try drawing it out any way you can. We decided to lay out all the 12s in order from the double 12 all the way down to the 12 and 0. And then we kind of noticed that there would be a pattern with the doubles, a diagonal pattern. But that was kind of confusing, so we kind of looked at the 11s, the maroons, and decided we're sort of making an array. But anyway, that's where we're at so far. So now we're looking at the purples, the nines. And I can see going across in this row, I want all the ones that have a seven, that hot pink seven. But going down in this column, they're all gonna be the purple nines. So the nine and two goes here. Uh, the nine and one will go there. And the nine and zero, goes here. So all we're missing is the 9 and 5 and the 9 and 8, which is right here. And each row is getting shorter, but that's because some of the 9s already showed up earlier, so they won't be going down as long. So each row is going to be a big triangle when we get done. Wow, we're almost done. It looks like we might have a complete set here. This is what our arrangement looks like. We've gotten all the dominoes down to the threes and so now we're going, help me out Colleen. We've got the double three, the three and two, the three and one, whoops, I better, the three and zero. Then we've got the twos, the two and two, the two and one, the two and zero. Then we've got the one and one, the one and zero, and the last one is the zero, zero. So that is our complete, what do you call it? our organized table. So now I'm asking myself, why is that 91? It looks like it's 13 plus 12 plus 11 plus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, plus 1 equals 91. My high school daughter tells me that that's 12 exclamation point. I can't remember from my advanced math what that is. So I got to look into that. It makes me curious. And I'd, I'd kind of like to see what it was if I took away the 12s and I had just the set with the double 11s and no 12s. So it would be 91 minus 13. And then whatever that is, minus 12, minus 11 minus 10 